Hey Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to collect the seeds off of this beautiful Zinca plant. So let's go. I have not had to buy seeds for my white and also pink vinca plants for at least a couple of years now. I just keep collecting the seeds and re-sowing them every winter. They put on such a great show and they are not hardy in this area where I live, zone 5B. They're pretty much only hardy in zones 9 and 10. So they are a great plant to collect the seeds and regrow year after year. If you'll recall, I started a couple of different colors of vinca under my grow lights this past winter. I started a hot pink one, a white one, a pink one with a red center, and I even started a purple colored one. I'm very excited because I'm planning to collect seeds from all four different colors of vinca that I have. I feel like I've been waiting forever to collect the seeds of the vinca plant. Well, the time has come. What I plan on doing is collecting a few pods. I'm going to show you some pods that have seeds that are ripe and some pods that have seeds that are not ripe. Now, could I have waited for these pods to have a more tan color? I definitely could have waited, but I wanted to make this video and show you what to look for in case you're looking for these seeds right now. So right here, this is an example of a pod that has seeds that are not ripe. And one way that I can tell is I can't see the black seeds showing through the skin of the seed pod. And I'm going to try to open it up and show you what the seeds look like inside. And you can see very clearly that the seeds are a green color. That means that they are not ripe. They're not ready to be harvested. Now let's go ahead and open up one of these seed pods. Definitely a seed pod that has a tan color to it will open up much easier. But you also risk the chance of all the seeds falling out of the seed pod. Here's a good example of a seed pod that has seeds that are ripe. They are black inside. Let's go ahead and take the seeds out of the pod. Can you believe we just collected all of these seeds from that one seed pod? Pretty crazy. When it comes to storing the seeds, I like to store my seeds in these small little plastic Ziploc bags with the name of the plant, the color, the year it was collected. I have a dime to show you the size of the seed pod as well as the seeds so that you can see the reference of the size here compared to a dime. And I'm going to wait a few days for these seeds to fully dry. And then I'll just use this piece of paper folded in half. It'll act like a funnel and I can get the seeds very easily then into the Ziploc bag. And here's a closer look at the seed pod as well as the seeds. Isn't it super easy to collect seeds from a vinca plant? I think so. And I definitely wanted to share that with you. I collected my own seeds for the last few years from vinca plants and I've had so many of these plants in my landscape as well as in pots and containers. I want even more next year. I will definitely bring you along this winter when I start this plant from seed as well as many other plants that I'm going to be growing under my grow lights. I hope you're having a great time in your garden and until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.